Alicia's always dreamed of having a window bench in our home. I wanted to take our ordinary bay window and make it a focal point and useful space in our dining room. As I do with most of our projects, I sat down to sketch out a plan. I usually have a clear vision in my head when I start a project, but I always need to sell it to Alicia, who likes to see the image before I turn something into reality. Each build is going to be different with this, uh, because each house is different and each size will be different. Ours actually measures out to 86 inches at the front and 45 inches at the back. Yours, you'll have to kind of accommodate it to your specific size for your bay window. Once you have your window bench framed in, there's really two options you can go here. You can either create one long piece that will cover the top, or you can opt like us to create storage underneath. So I'll be creating a door on top with a front lip here. The front lip is because I don't want it to show from the outside um, the seams of where, where the door lifts up. And also keeps our little one from lifting it up all the time when she sees it. Since each window will be different, we've offered a guide below on how we built our window bench. Our friends at the Home Depot loved the idea and helped us bring this design to life. It's now the perfect place in our home to enjoy the sunset over the bay, curl up and read a book with the natural light flooding the pages, or have a little fun.